we're finally back with another Marvel ranking. It's been nearly a month since I posted a ranking video. And it... And I am so excited. It's because today we're going to rank the Guardians movies. This also, by the way, as I said in the beginning of the video, this this move, this video is going to have spoilers for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So if you haven't seen the movie, click go, click off this video and watch it for yourself, then come back. Or if you really want to see this video and my thoughts on these on these movies just skip the guardians 3 because there will be spoilers anyways let's get started i've also included the holiday special just to spice some things up easily coming in last place we have guardians of the galaxy volume 2 like i i mean if, if you've seen sean chandler the youtuber which by the way he's an amazing youtuber go subscribe to him if you haven't he basically what i think of this movie is what sean thinks it's it's just a big letdown i don't know I never found this movie fun or entertaining. I mean, it's not like it's not entertaining. It still has a, some great moments in this movie. Like, Baby Groot's really cute. And we got Yondu in there. His death is so tragic, man. Like, seriously. Seeing, seeing Peter's, like, backstory and how his dad literally killed his mom was dark. But it just overall, it just didn't have as much fun as it wasn't as fun to just watch compared to the first movie because I don't know I just I never liked Volume Two that much. It's good, but like it's it's mid. It's like a D tier movie if I had to rate it. So that's what I think. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, a good enough. It's a all right movie. But it's not, like, the worst movie ever. There's, like, Black Widow and Iron Man 2. Those are way worse movies. Don't get me started on them. In third place, we've got the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. This is definitely a refreshing pit-top. This, this movie is a ton. I mean, it's not really a movie. This special is, a, like, an absolute ton of fun. Like, there's laughs everywhere. You know Drax and Mantis. They are, like, they're, like, the best comedy duo ever. And I really like how they come. I really like their chemistry and the comedy that they both make. It's just like so fun. And it really does get you into that Christmas mode when you're watching this. It's an absolute blast to watch. And I like how they call him the legendary Kevin Bacon, bro. <laughs> I like Kevin Bacon, too. He's one of my favorite actors. So it's pretty nice seeing him. And the, the fact that they showed that mantis is star lord's sister wow i did not expect that either the only problem i'd have with this is i kind of wished it was like a movie i mean it is a special presentation but like i kind of wish it was a movie it's just the other i mean actually you know what the only flaw i have is just i like the other two movies better but other than that this is a very fun time to fun thing to watch a very fun christmas special up is the guardians of the galaxy volume 3 so this is a, so like i said at the beginning there will be there's spoilers for this movie that i'm gonna discuss so if you so if you haven't seen the movie click off this part and just just jump to my number one so guardians of the galaxy volume 3 the critics all say that this movie is actually really good it's a fantastic conclusion I mean, I think it's a good movie, but, like, I was kind of underwhelmed. I felt like this could have been a, a fan, more fantastic conclusion. And I am so, so shocked that no one died in this movie. Like, I was literally, like, like Star-Lord and Rocket, they were, like, this close to dying. I kind of wish they died just so we had, like, impact. And just see, I kind of like the idea of them parting ways but they literally said at the end that they were gonna meet each other which kind of makes no sense for a conclusion and they did say this was the last con movie but but um, according to the ending i don't really think so i don't even think this is the last movie i think they're gonna make a volume four or five or six or anything this is definitely not the last even the post credit scene was like star lord will return 
I really like seeing Rocket's backstory, but I kind of wish it was explored a little bit more, you know? Because, like, I mean, it was, it just came in, like, bits through the entire movie. But, like, not, like, as one continuous thing. Like, I kind of, like, once I want a special just on Rocket's backstory. It was a little longer. And I was really shocked and sad that his friends all died. Like, the walrus, Lila, and the rabbit with the can't talk. I forgot her name. I think it's, like, floors or something. I was really shocked. Star-Lord was this close to dying, man. This close. Like, like when he, they was, like, when, when he was fighting. Um... The High Evolutionary was a great villain. You just wanted him to lose. Like, the way that they casted him, it was like, you wanted him to lose and never be back, never come back again. Adam Warlock was a bit of a letdown, but he was still great. Everyone here and there got their time to shine, especially, and we finally got to see how um, mean Nebula is. It's cool seeing Gamora again, but, like, again, she wasn't, the Gamora. She's just some fake one. But overall, this is a good movie, but, like, I feel like it could have been a lot better. Just, like, if they had a little more time. But, like, I just feel like there could have been some things they could have added to make this a even better movie. Easily coming in first place, we've got the original Guardians of the Galaxy. When this, before this movie came out, the Guardians were absolutely, like, nobodies. Like, no one cared. Or no one just, like, wanted to know anything about them. They were just, like, the forgotten team. The Marvel's forgotten team. But then James Gunn came, made this movie, and he made all these characters love. They just made them so lovable and fun. And he, it was kind of like the Avengers, but but he just introduced to all of them so well in this movie. Like, they didn't even need their own origin movies. This, like, movie was just great from the start. And I know some... Some critics are going to be like, hey, the third movie's a lot better. But this one, just the w idea of just, I don't know. The way it started these t the Guardians was just amazing. And the way they build it up until, like, probably the last movie, which is going to be a volume four. It'll come eventually. is going to be amazing. And I just, I just love this movie. I think it's a very fun movie, too. It's great times, like, it's like, and it was when the MCU was a little more small, so, like, it had, it had something going for it. Like, it didn't feel like in some big universe. So that's why it comes, Guardians of the Galaxy, the original movie, comes in at number one. Thank you all, everyone, for watching this video. Um, it's, it's been, a, I, again, it's been a while since I did a ranking video, because I just haven't found any franchises to rank i've got school now and i can't i don't really get much time to watch movies but i finally came back since guardians 3 came out i decided i wanted to rank all of these so just thanks all for thank you all for watching this video you know if you like give this video a like comment down your ranking of these movies down below i i read all the comments by the way subscribe if you're new and you like my other content and i will see you guys next time Peace.